This video file cannot be played. Error code 224003. So if you're getting this error while you're trying to stream a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu or YouTube, wh whichever streaming service that you're using, and you're getting this error, I want to help you fix this issue. Now, it doesn't matter if you're on a on Microsoft Windows or a PC or if you're on Mac. It's The concept really is the same. First thing I want you to do is just make sure that you are getting connected to the internet um, and you're getting a connect a good connection so what happens that a lot of times you'll get this error because it just videos take just too much broadband and so you might want to take the device closer to the router if you're not connected by LAN or by the internet maybe go on another website just to make sure you're not completely uh, disconnected whatsoever if you are just go to your router, your Wi-Fi router, and reset it, and just unplug the internet from the wall, replug it back in, give it a few minutes, restart your computer or whatever you have, and then see if you're able to get connected. It could be an issue where there's just not enough broadband anymore, because it may be the evening hours, or there may be a storm, or whatever. So have everybody in the home, if there are other people, temporarily not do what they're doing, if they're online or they're watching videos, and if they stop doing what they're doing and then you're able to get connected, then you know you just don't have enough broadband coming in to uh, pick up your video. So you might just have to have your your uh, device closer to the Internet or just call your service provider and, and purchase more broadband. So that could be an issue if you keep getting this error. Okay, so after you've tried that, now what I want you to do, whatever browser that you're in, Let's say if it's Windows, if you're using Firefox or Google Chrome, Safari, whichever one, whichever one that you're use, using, and same thing with your MacBook. What I want you to do is to do an update on your browser. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one of the browsers. You can look it up, just to, how to do an update on your browser, but that has fixed a lot of people's problem. I will show you in Google Chrome, just because the majority of people use Google Chrome. So what you want to do is... Uh, while you're in Google Chrome, click on these three little dots. And then down here, what you're going to do is you want to click uh, Help, right here, Help. And then About Google Chrome, click About Google Chrome. And it'll usually start doing your update automatically. It'll start running here. If not, there should be a thing to relaunch and then have you do the updates. And then uh, completely shut out of Google Chrome, come back in it and then see if you're able to um, get that error moved. Same thing with Firefox or whatever. They're pretty the, much the same. You go into settings, but you might have to, have to look it up. <coughs> okay, next what I want you to do is clear cookies, browsing history, and your cache. So that's basically temporary information in your browser. Same thing applies regardless of what browser you have. You know, Opera, Firefox, if, uh, Safari, whatever you have. Same concept applies here. You want to go and click those for Google Chrome. You would click on the three little dots. You go over to the far left and go to privacy and security. You want to click on clear browsing data. And that's going to clear all three that I talked about. You're going to select all four of these. Browsing history, download history, cookies and site data, cache, image, and files. Select all these, delete data. And so after you do that, shut down your computer, and then see if you're able to uh, get connected. All right, I do appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and have a good rest of your day.